In the first part of how to play midfield, we focused on wall passes and turning and the basics, technique, always looking over your shoulder. It's so important. In the second part, we're making it more game realistic. So let's go. So this is game footage. Only the first 10 minutes. Midfielder gets the ball, turns, and then passes it to the left. It's not on, so he comes back. He turns. You don't need to always play it right, so then he comes back and then passes it on. He gets the ball again and then passes it right. This is so common in a game. You see it all the time. So the other team has the ball. He gets the ball. He turns and then passes it on to the left. Here again. Plays out wide. Turns. Plays it to the right. Not on. So you don't need to always pass it. You don't need to be a robot. You can dribble a little bit and then pass it on. Here again, the other team gets the ball, plays it in the middle, and then he sprays it left. But this turning is always happening. You get the ball, you turn, play it, turn, pass it on. It happens so much. So you have to be really comfortable with this action. Here again, looks over his shoulder, and then not on, so he plays it to his left. So how do you practice this? You can get three players, and then the left plays to the middle, and then the middle plays to the right. Just like this. And then you practice the other way, from right to left. Now the faster you play the ball to the other side, the opposition has to work harder to recover and cover that space. Here again, the midfielder gets the ball, it's not on, then he plays back. You can't always just play left to right, right to left. Sometimes you take the ball and you have to move forward, just like this guy's doing now. And then you can try different angles while practicing, from left back to middle to right, just getting comfortable with it. Here again, midfielder gets the ball and then plays it right. So here again, we've got the ball coming from the center back. You can change the positioning like this. You get the ball from the center back, plays it to the midfielder, and then he plays it on again to the left-hand side. You just practice this five to 10 times and then change the people in the middle. So here, the ball gets played to the midfielder. Sometimes you've got to play the long ball to the right-hand side. So you can practice this as well. In the next video on how to play as a central midfielder, I'm going to show you situations where the midfielder will receive the ball under pressure and how to best get out of these situations. And I'll show you drills that you can do at home to practice this. Thanks guys for watching and until next time, ciao.